this video, we're going to set up a single page application with Laravel and Vuetify. Now I've already done some pre-configuration setup by adding Vuetify and Vue to my project. So if you didn't see my previous video, I'll put a link up in the top right corner for you to check out. Now, I like to use Laravel Blades for the external app or publicly viewable portions of the app. So I'll typically use this for the landing page, user registration, maybe forgot password, and any other general application informational pages that don't require the user to log in. Once the user logs in is where I'll set up my single page application. So before we get into the single page app, let's make sure the user can register and log in. Now, up until this point, I haven't run any migrations. Right here, the registration process just asks for a name, but I like my users to register with a first and last name. So before I run migrations, I wanna change the default Laravel user model migration and register controller to ask for a first and last name. Now, in order to add the first and last name, I'm gonna open up Visual Studio Code. Um, going to resources, views, auth, and then register blade, because that should reflect the register form we're looking at here. And I'm gonna change a few things. So right now I wanna change this, and I'm just gonna change anywhere that it says for, I'm sorry, where it says name to first. So first here, I'm gonna put this as first. And all I'm doing is renaming this to reflect first for first name. ID of first, error is first, name is first, old name is first, required, yep, autocomplete is first, error is first, and that looks like I got them all. I'm gonna Command S to save that, and I'm just gonna refresh this and as we can see, it now says first. I'm just gonna copy this and duplicate it with Command V, and everywhere it says first, I'm gonna now change to last. Last, last, idea of last, error of last, name, last, old, last. I just paused the video. I missed a field over here to the right. Make sure you update it to be autocomplete equals last instead of autocomplete equals first. Last and error is last. And I'm gonna command S to save and I should see first and then last. So let's refresh and now I have first and last. Now in order to complete this form, I still need to edit the controller, the user model, and the migration. So let's do the migration next. Um, I'm gonna minimize this and go to database, migrations, and the create users. So we're just gonna change right here where it says string name to string first. And I'm gonna copy that, command C, and paste it and we're gonna do this as last. So now instead of name, we have first and last when we run this migration. I'm gonna command S to save that and I can minimize the database now and I'm gonna go into application, HTTP and let's do the model first. This is the user model. So I'm gonna click on that and fillable, I'm gonna change name to first and I'm going to add last. And just double checking everything here and I can do command S to save and we can now go into the controller. So I'm going to app HTTP controllers and we're gonna do the register controller. So instead of requiring um, name or validating name, we're gonna validate for first. And I can copy this with Command C and then Command V to paste and we wanna validate for last. 
And then we also want to make sure that when we run the create method on this controller that we change this from name to first and the data should be first. I'm going to copy this command C enter and this should be last and last command S. All right, we're almost ready to roll and register our first user. But before we do, we have to run the migrations. So I'm going to click on um, terminal um, in the blog directory, and I can run my PHP artisan migrate. And what that's going to do is it's going to run the migration file that we set up in database migrations and users, create users. So it's going to set up this table for us in the database. So go ahead and press enter and we've just ran our migration. So I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to try and create a user. And I'll go ahead and click register. And we've just created our first user and we're logged into our application. Now we want to turn this portion of our application into the single page application and we're going to use Vutify to do that. So in order to convert this from a blade template into a single page application, I'm going to open up Visual Studio Code and we can minimize this. We can get rid of all this. And we're going to go into our resources, views, and let's go ahead and make a copy of our app blade.php. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put it in the root of the views, paste, and I'm going to rename it to SPA for single page application. Now, I don't want any of this stuff in here. I'm just going to get rid of all this. And that should be good. I'm going to save this for right now. And let's go up to controllers and home controller. And instead of return view home, I'm going to return SPA and that's for the blade that we just created for SPA blade. So control S. Now this is going to break our page right here and we get nothing. We just took everything out. So let's go ahead and create the single page application portion in our resources JS components and I'm going to create a new component and I'm going to call it app container dot view and let's jump over to Vutify. I'm going to go to documentation and we'll just do a pre-made layout. Um, I guess we'll try the baseline. Let's see what we got. I'm going to copy this template completely. I'm just command C to copy everything in there jump back over to Visual Studio Code and Command V to paste it and then Command S to save. So now we've created our single page application component and we need to include it in our app.js file. So we're not going to use the example component. So I'm just going to write over top of this and we're going to call this app dot or dash container and we can get rid of this and we'll call this app container and command S. Something important that I should note before this is going to work, it has to be compiled and we haven't compiled our application yet. So what I usually like to run is npm run watch and that'll watch my directory as I make changes and every time I press save, it's going to recompile our component and I can refresh the page and it should be there. 
So go ahead, npm run watch. Okay, we've compiled our component, but we haven't told our application to use this new app container component. So we need to go back to our SPA blade and we need to tell it to use the app container. So I'm gonna app dash container, app dash container, and command S to save. And there we go. It looks like we have our Beautify single page application, but it looks like our icons aren't working. Um, let's jump back over here. We'll go to quick start. Down here at the bottom, font installation. I'm gonna copy this right here. Command C to copy. And I'm gonna put it in our SPA blade file. And right here with the fonts is fine. And Command S to save. I'll go back over here and refresh and our icons are working. One last thing I wanna do is add the logout button. Right now, we have no way of logging out of our application. So let's add another link over here to the side that just says logout. I'm gonna to go to Visual Studio Code. I go back into my app container. I'm going to copy a list item, Command C to copy. I'm gonna paste it right back in there. Now I happen to know MDI dash power will give us a little power button and I'm just going to type log out command s and my application just automatically recompiled you can't see it off screen but I get a little notification up here in the right that lets me know so I'm going to refresh and I get my log out button now it doesn't do anything it's not going to go anywhere so in order for the log out button to work we need to add a click event so open up Visual Studio Code again, and I'm gonna check the home.blade file. Maybe it's in the layouts, home, dashboard, you're logged in. I wanna see how they log out. Home, layouts, at blade, and I'm gonna scroll down here and it looks like in order to log out, we need to send a post request to the logout route. So let's go ahead and send a post request to the logout route. Uh, back in our app container, I'll come down here and right here we'll say at click equals log out and let's create the method so that when you click it actually does something so down here right after data I'm gonna go ahead and type methods and log out and I'm gonna use Axios it comes with Laravel pre-installed so Axios dot post and we're gonna say go to log, log out. And it's gonna return something. So we'll say then response, we use an arrow function here. And let's say when it returns its response, um, we're gonna tell it to go take us to the login page. So window location href equals login. So basically what we're saying is when we click the logout button at click, run this function. We'll go down here, methods, logout. We're gonna use Axios to send a post request to logout. And after the request succeeds, take us to the window location of login. I'm gonna command S, come back over here and press refresh. 
and we'll see if logout takes us to the login page. Now just to make sure I'm going to log in again with my user account and I'm going to log in and we're logged into our application. I'm going to try logging out again and we've successfully logged out. So at this point we're able to register a new user with a first and last name. When that user is logged in they're taken to a single page application that we set up with Viewtify and after logging out they're back to the regular Laravel Blade templates. And I think that's it for today. Right now would be a great time to subscribe and sign up for notifications and stay tuned for our next video.